Hi everyone, this is Jacob Paulson with ConcealedCarry.com and today I want to do a little side-by-side, head-to-head matchup between two very popular, very well-known, and very reputable gun safe companies. What I have here today is the Gun Vault Micro Vault Standard and the Sports Avild RV1, which is kind of their top axis comparable lightning vault. Um, the the Sports Field has a series of four handgun vaults. They call them the lightning vaults. They come in a top access and then a side access single, a side access double, and then a wall mount uh, configuration. Gun Vault has a similar lineup, a little bit d- deeper than just four products, but similar styles. What's different is that with Gun Vault, you have some more options as far as locks. You have electronic keypads like these, but Gun Vault also offers biometric options. And so Gun Vault does have a little bit more selection in the handgun vault arena than Sports Afield. But Sports Afield is relatively new to the game, so they might uh, you know, yet introduce some biometric uh, lock options. So that, that's something to be said. Now, both of these safes are California Department of Justice certified. So they've you know, gone through and you know, put, you know, been able to, to go through all the standards as far as you know, the, the most rigorous testing that's out there for gun safes in that regard. So that that's that's a bonus for both of these. Before I talk about things that are different, let me focus on a couple more things that are just the same for both of these products. They both have four you know, keypad electronic locking mechanisms right now. They both are top access, so they're designed uh, maybe to go underneath a car seat or underneath furniture, something like that. They, what we call, I like to call clamshell style safes. They both have tamper indicators, so if somebody's been putting in a lot of wrong uh, combinations, you're going to know about it because it's going to give you an indicator. They both uh, have, you know, sounding keypads. They make a noise when you push the buttons, but they're both mutable. They both have options that you can mute that sound so you don't hear them. Uh, they're both programmable, so you can, you know, they both have the same potential in terms of different combinations uh, in that regard. Um, they both have low battery indicators. They both have really nice foam lined interiors that I think are, are, are very, very good in that regard. Now, as far as warranties, this is where we start to get some of the differences. Sports of Field, I think, has the best warranty in the business. They have a lifetime all-inclusive warranty that includes shipping. So if you have to ship this back or if they have to ship you a new safe, they cover that. Now, Gun Vault still has a very good warranty. It's, I think it, as far as industry standards goes, it's very impressive, but I don't think it's quite as good as Sports Afield. That said, it's a very reputable product and, and no reason to believe you're going to have any, any issues in that, in that regard. Both these companies have been around for a very long time. Gun Vault obviously has always been in the gun safe business. Sports Afield has been publishing the Sports Afield magazine since like 1889 or something like that. So the company is over 100 years old, but they're a little bit newer to the gun safe business. And the RV1, the top access lightning safe, is among the newer ones uh, that they've released, that they've put out. So that, that gives you some of the ideas of some of the similarities. Now, there's some construction differences here. When we talk about construction of a gun safe, there's some things we're ta- we want to look at. One would be how strong or how thick is the steel. Now, the Gun Vault Micro Vault Standard has 18 gauge steel housing, whereas the Sports Afield Top Access Lightning Safe uh, only has 20 gauge uh, steel. So the Gun Vault wins as far as the materials used in construction. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit stronger. But that said, I'll certainly tell you. You know, they're both very strong. Um, you're not going to pry this open with a crowbar. Uh, you, you know, I think I could easily get either of them open just as much in that regard. And I'll also say that the Sports of Field Safe passed the most recent California Department of Justice uh, testing standards, which are much higher and more competitive than they were when the Gun Vault Safe uh, went through the same testing and passed the same uh, requirements. So there's the, the, some debate, you know, whether or not um, it, you know the same safe would would be able to pass. The standards today or not, but to me they're very comparable in that regard and they both are very well constructed. Okay, the next thing we'll do is we're going to do what I would call a speed test. We're going to see, you know, in terms of just practical use of these safes, can I get one of these open faster than the other? Right now they're both programmed for one, two, three, four as the combination. So I'm going to I'm going to pre-push one, two, three on both of these and then hit four at the same time. And we're going to do that several times and just try and get a sense for is one of these opening faster than the other. So here we go. Test number one. All right, here we go. 
To me, they opened about the same speed. We're going to we'll try that one more time. I, I couldn't tell any difference. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to listen as well as watch. You guys on the video actually probably have a better view of this than I do. But from listening, they both seem to open at about the same time. The next thing I want to do is actually pay attention to listening sound. If you're one of those people who are really worried about how loud it might be, even if you've muted these keypads, there is still some sound to the actual mechanism opening. So I'm going to go ahead and prep the gun vault and the sports of field. And first I'm going to listen to the gun vault, then sports of field. So you hear a distinct click, but that's about it. So Sports of Field doesn't really have a click, but it does kind of have a, you know, kind of like a, a little machine type noise as that lever turns uh, inside the housing right here. So in terms of how loud they are, I'd say it's comparable, but it's a different kind of noise. It's a click versus a little, I don't know that, you know, for me, it doesn't make any difference, but to you, that might matter. Um, in terms of ease of opening, let's talk about that next. Uh, you know, because these are clamshell safes, the second you punch it in, you are going to have to take a hand and reach down and open it to retrieve the gun. So there's some question about, you know, how easy is it for me to push these buttons and then get this open and retrieve the gun. So on sports afield, you can see that it opens about... I don't know, about a little more than a quarter inch, maybe not quite half an inch. Uh, it's opened above kind of where, where it would normally sit. So it also has an interesting kind of shape. It's kind of flat and has this up profile and then it's flat again. So, you know, is that easier for me to get a little hand on, a little finger on to get open to retrieve my gun? You know, debatable. So I'm going to do that one more time. So you saw me kind of slip on it. It was very slippery. Do it again. Yeah, not bad. So let's go to the gun vault. I'm going to kind of put it in the same position here. So you see, it, it opens as well. Maybe not quite as much. Maybe about a quarter inch. I, I'm, maybe it's comparable, but it, to me it seems a little bit like it doesn't open quite as much. It's definitely a very flat profile. as has a similar shiny kind of slippery metal. So let's, let's see how I do with this guy. Oh, gun's backward. Here we go. Try again. So I wouldn't say it was any easier. To me, they're very comparable that way, but the shape is definitely different. Uh, so it feels different kind of reaching and grabbing, um, but they're both kind of comparable in terms of the feel of the metal and things like that. So that's something to think about. Um, another thing here that I want to focus on is the actual buttons themselves. I think one of the reasons a lot of people love Gun Vault is because it has kind of this these finger grooves, this, this, this idea that I can take my hand in the dark, maybe I can't see, I can insert it like this, and I can feel where those are. In fact, you can see they kind of have a braille numbering system, so I know this is one, two, three, and four, if I, you know, if I have a sense for just feeling those little knobs. Um, the buttons are very easy to, to push. There's nothing difficult at all about actuating those buttons. I don't, I don't think that they're, they take a lot of strength or muscle. Um, so I would rate this very highly. To me, I really like that about the gun vault. Very easy in the dark to kind of get my fingers in the right place and boom, 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 do what I need to do. So for me, that's a bonus on, on Gun Vault. Now, Sports of Field does not have kind of a finger position, but it does have, you know, these kind of recessed buttons. They're not flat. Uh, the Gun Vault buttons are kind of very, you know, very flat. These ones kind of have a, a recess, um, a little bit more, you know, like a volcano crater type, you know, bowl. Uh, cupping shape to them. So it's, it is easy to kind of find them and put a finger on there. I don't think it's difficult. As far as ease to push, they might be a little bit harder to push than the gun vault buttons, um, but not significantly so. Uh, what I will say is that the gun vault buttons, they kind of stick out. And so it, to me, you know, there might be something to be said about maybe you could accidentally push these. These are, these, these are, don't stick out at all. They're, they're, they're recessed uh, into the, into the system here, but they're definitely a little stiffer as far as pushing them versus the gun vault buttons. Now, here's another thought. The sports fill buttons are illuminated. So they're not illuminated all the time though. So it's not like I can wake up in the dark and see my buttons on my safe. I have to hit something first. And once I've hit the first one, then they're all lit and I can see the buttons just fine. Uh, so the illuminated buttons is debatably an advantage uh, over the gun vault, but how much of an advantage, hard to say, since you, they're not illuminated all the time. You do have to hit some button in order to see the rest of the buttons and have them all illuminate. So that gives you an idea. Um, in terms of height, I want to think a little bit about how tall these are. If you're using your clamshell safe in such a way that you want to slide it 
underneath something, maybe underneath a car seat uh, or a nightstand or you know, who knows what, then how tall they are is going to be a factor uh, that's going to matter to you. So let's put them side by side here in terms of height. There's no question, you can tell by looking at this, no question whatsoever that the sports of field safe is taller. So if you're really worried about a slim profile, being able to slide this uh, underneath something, you're probably going to be better off with the gun vault uh, because it's, it's just that it's, it's shorter. I mean, there's just nothing, <laughs> no other way to say that. And you get a sense here, I mean, how much shorter? I mean, I'd say a solid inch. Um, actually, including this guy, well, this also rises a little bit over this profile. So I'd say, yeah, I'd say about an inch, maybe a little more than an inch tall. Uh, maybe, you know, somewhere on these boxes, it would give me exact dimensions. That's something you can research, and maybe we'll put it on the screen here in, uh, when we edit the video. But without question, Sports of Field Safe is a little taller. In terms of width, these are identical, and as far as depth goes... The Sports of Field Safe is a tad hair deeper. I mean, not maybe an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, but nothing significant, but it is a little bit uh, deeper uh, as well. So that's something to consider. Now, what that does mean, though, is the Sports Field Safe is probably going to hold uh, bigger things. So if you have some concerns about uh, a taller gun, I don't know, uh, or having multiple guns, let's take a look at the interior. So for our purposes today, what I've done is I've put in both of these, the CERT 110, it's the Performer Series, modeled exactly after, after a Glock 17 in that regard. So you can see, as far as the interior space, it looks very comparable uh, to me. I, I don't think that it looks much different. It, I, it's true, this one does seem to have a little bit more depth. You can kind of see this, this is sitting lower, uh, you know, from, from the top of this guy versus this guy. It's a little bit closer to being flush. So, I don't know, I mean, most guns are not really thick, so I don't know that it's a significant advantage that it be much taller, but maybe if you're putting something else in here other than a gun, uh, that might be a big deal to you, that you have a little bit you know, more height in the sports of field safe uh, versus gun vault, but I, I doubt it's really an issue to, to be you know, concerned with uh, in that regard. As far as putting multiple guns, uh, I think either of these would probably take two handguns pretty easily. So there you can see the two cert pistols in the sports field safe and over here in the gun vault, same thing. I think the interior dimensions here are very comparable, almost identical, uh, with the exception of the sports field is obviously a little bit uh, deeper or taller, uh, if you prefer to think of it that way. So as far as interior space and you know, putting guns in here, I don't think um, that's an issue uh, that, that really separates these out. As far as the other interior features, you can see they're both very nicely padded. Um, it's kind of more of like a, a bubble padding over here uh, on the gun vault, whereas Sports of Field is kind of more of a simple, um, you know, straight, straightforward padding, but they're both of equal foam thickness. Um, they're both just as soft, in my opinion. I don't think that's something that really separates them. As far as the interface, uh, you kind of get a sense uh, how, how this is laid out. Here's your mute button and your learn button on the gun vault. And over here on Sports of Field, similarly, here's your mute button and your learn button. So not, not a big difference uh, in that regard. Obviously, a little cosmetically different, but essentially functionally the same. And they both have the same battery compartment in the same spot. You can kind of see, in fact, earlier I was getting the batteries in these, and I accidentally got these battery plates confused. And just for one minute, I was trying to figure out why this doesn't quite close. And I figured out, oh, I had the wrong battery pl compartment plate. So they're that close that I, I confused them. Uh, but they both take 9 volt. Uh, they have comparable battery life according to the manufacturer. So that's very similar. Now here would be one huge thing that I will throw out for Sports of Field. I think this is a big deal. The Sports of Field does have an interior light. So right here, if I kind of pick up the safe and pick it around, this is a light and it's a red interior light and it stays on for a certain number of seconds after you've opened the safe. This light pops on, you can see it there, and it doesn't cast a really bright light, but does give you enough light in the dark to be able to see the gun. And there's some great value for that. And none of the gun vault, handgun vaults have interior lights. That's just something that they chose not to build into any gun vault handgun safes, uh, whereas all sports of field lightning safes do have an interior light. So that's something I would say is a huge plus for sports of field is the interior light. Uh, it may se seem kind of like a dinky red light, but in the dark, uh, it lights up pretty dang well. And that's something that I, I really do appreciate about the, uh, 
the, gun, the sports afield safe is that interior light. One other thing that here is worth noting, the gun vault safes all come with a security cable like this guy. And the premise of the security cable is that, hey, I may want to tether this thing down to a piece of furniture, or maybe probably more likely in a car, to a car seat or the frame somehow. And so I would kind of wrap this around an object put this through like so, so, so this is tied to said object, and then this guy goes in the safe like this, and presto, you can't remove the safe from the car or the object, whatever it might be, right? Now, that, that's great, I love the security cable, I think it's a really nice feature. The sports of field safe has the option, the placement for a security cable, as you can see, but it doesn't come with the cable itself. Now you can buy aftermarket uh, security cables. We actually sell them on our website. Um, I, we'll put the price out here on the screen. I think they're roughly like seven or 10 bucks or something like that. So not crazy expensive, but it is something that the Sports of Field Safe is, is lacking as a security cable. So if you're gonna buy this safe and you want to tether it to something, consider that you're gonna need to buy a security cable above and beyond the, uh, the safe itself. Now, uh, with all that said, I think that kind of gives you a bit of an idea. Let's talk about cost, and this is probably one of those things that, that really starts to separate these. Um, now, both these companies have an MSRP on these products. The Gunfall MSRP is $179.99, so call it $180, whereas the price tag MSRP on the Sports of Field Top Access Lightning Handgun Safe is only $99.99. So it's $80 cheaper, almost half the cost of the Gun Vault Micro, uh, micro Vault. Now, that, that's a big difference. So even if you do have to spend an extra $10 or something on a security cable, you're still saving a lot of money by going to the Sports of Field uh, safe over the Gun Vault Micro Vault. So in summary, here'd be a couple of things to consider. Uh, in terms of cost, Sports of Field is extremely more economic. Uh, neither of these companies have a minimum advertised price, so you're probably gonna pay less than MSRP on both, but this one's always gonna be cheaper because it starts out so much cheaper. $100 versus $180. That's a big difference. The Gun Vault, a couple things they had going for it. It comes with the security cable. We like the kind of the finger groove for the keypad. Um, we really appreciate that. We think it's really nice. And it has slightly better construction uh, steel in terms of having 18 gauge steel versus 20 gauge. The biggest thing Sports of Field had going for it, illuminated keypad and illuminated interior. That's a big deal. We think it's really nice. It's a little taller in profile, less likely to slide under things if you're working in a really slim space. But as an economic option, all around it's very good and it does have some very solid construction. And as far as warranty go, both these companies stand behind their products very well. But on paper, I'll tell you, I think the Sports of Field has a slightly better warranty because it's a all things lifetime warranty, including shipping costs. So that's something to consider. Uh, a, a little added bonus I'll mention that I just think is kind of cool is that anytime you buy any Sports of Field safe, it does come with a uh, free subscription to the Sports of Field magazine. So if you really like the Sports of Field magazine, you might consider buying a Sports of Field safe and boom, you have a, another year free subscription to the magazine. So with that, from Denver, Colorado, this is Jacob Paulson. I hope that you will consider one of these safes.